everyone. Good evening. Happy hump day. My kids are gone from the house. Um, my husband so graciously took them um, to Awanas tonight. So nobody's here. Oh my God. <laughs> my last video, um, Brantley was introducing Elfie, our Christmas elf that magically appeared. He found it in the drawer <laughs> and wanted to know why Elfie <laughs> was back. Oh my, that's a whole other story. Hey, Heather. Okay, let's find Jamie. Ah. I'm so excited. Uh, this one. Hey, girl. Woo! It worked. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Oh, good. Perfectly. Um, okay, so I was um, I was saying ugh, my kids are gone. They're at Awanas. David graciously took them. So it's kind of quiet at my house, which, like, never happens. <laughs> so I'm super excited um, for this one. Teachers, teacher alert. And let me just say, isn't teacher, like, a hot topic right now? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what a coincidence. I'm going live with a teacher. <laughs> but today, well, actually, if you guys don't know, oh, yeah, guys, if you are just joining us, um, say hi, tell us where you're uh, tuning in from. And if you are one of our replay watchers, um, leave us hashtag replay because we love to connect with our replay watchers. So if you don't know, um, we are actually both in West Virginia, separate towns, but our entire state of teachers um, were on strike for nine days, and that just ended yesterday. So today was the first day back. You went back to work today, right, Jamie? Yeah, today was my first day. So how so, was it? <laughs> actually, the kids, the kids were kind of, which I teach high school, so the kids were kind of bummed that their break was over. But the teachers were super upbeat, and I don't know. I was happy to see the kids. I don't know if they're happy to see me, but I don't know. Well, let me just say my kids weren't excited to go back. I think they thought they were out of school till like, next year. I, I, at one point, I thought, we're not, we're not going back to school ever. I know. I thought, oh, my gosh, maybe we're out for the summer. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's cut um, – Right to the right to the chase. You guys probably already know she's a teacher. Um, I I my last two um, meet the crew videos were people that have been with me for over a year now. Um, so I really thought it was important to bring on somebody and introduce introduce someone that is fairly new, like less than two less than eight weeks, right? Uh, well. No. Yes, I have just now, I think. This week I just had eight weeks. So Okay. Two two months two months old. That's 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 like a newborn baby. <laughs> so I wanted to get somebody else's perspective that is brand new to Lomite, like brand new to the business. Um and kinda just share I want you to first introduce yourself. Tell us um, you know, about your family, where you live and um your your, what's the name for it, your other job, your teacher job, um, tell us, you know, your profession, and why the heck did you join Limelight, because she, she came off my radar, um, I, I actually went to high school with Jane, she's a couple years younger than me, um, but we have not spoke at all, I didn't even know she was, uh, even on my radar, like I had no clue she had any interest in Limelight. Um, and she like came out of nowhere and joined and literally like took off running with it. Like pleasantly surprised me. Like she's insanely amazing. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Just kind of introduce yourself and let's get it started. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Jamie. Um, lives are scary. Um, so don't be nervous. I'm 31. I um, am married to my awesome husband, Tyler, and we have an almost two-year-old who's crazy wild. Um, I work in Putnam County. I teach 
show choir. I teach competition show choir in Putnam County. I also teach piano and general choir, but show choir is like my main thing. Um, right now is our competition season, so on the weeks we compete, I work in like 65, 70 to 75 hours. Um, we haven't been on strike. I don't know. Um, but we're competing weekend after and then the following week after traveling to Martinsburg to compete and that'll wrap up our season. And job, I love my job. I really do love it. I, so my daughter was born. I just kind of wanted more time with her. Though. And um, I just started thinking about ways to do that and starting getting really curious about it. Also, you know, I, I actually at Christmas was thinking that I felt kind of sludgy, you know? Have you felt sludgy? Yeah. Like, I just felt, like, icky, and I thought, maybe I'll just, like, invest in some good makeup. I was wearing, like, $6 foundation from Walmart, <laughs> and I just thought, I'm just going to, like, try to invest. And so I started seeing Ashley pop up, and I started researching Limelight a little bit because I'm super into animal rights, and we don't use products tested in our home. And I just decided, like, why the heck not? Like, I need some good makeup. Like, I'll get a good deal, and I can probably this so let's just go for it so in honesty like it's my goal to be a stay-at-home mom and this is the step I'm taking to get there so, so Tom, Tom freedom is basically your goal so you don't have to be away from your daughter for like 70 hours a week that's that's insane yeah we came before last I was on a school bus with 50 teenagers till 3 a.m that's something else on its own <laughs> They were like, this kid behind me was like asking me 7 million questions. And I said, listen, here is your, <laughs> do not talk to me for one hour. Just move to the other side of the bus. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> it's funny. Oh my gosh. I would literally die. I would, <laughs> like I would literally, I would, I would die. Um, the, and something like, else I wanted to point out, uh, Jamie, like when she first messaged me, she was like, uh, I know nothing about makeup. She was like, I have like two, two products like of makeup like, ever and I was like that doesn't matter <laughs> that does not matter and she's like proof that does not matter she's already hit her first fast start hello she has already she's two months in guys and she is building a team already she just added a new team member today I think she might Wait, she might be on here I hit my second fast start last week Ah, second fast. Okay, she hit both of her fast starts. Like that. This is how crazy she is. I can't even keep up. <laughs> second fast start, and she works seventy plus hours a week. She has a child, and she's married, so she has like a home life too. Like on top of this, this is just crazy to me. So that's why I thought this video was so important because people, you know, a lot of time think that this business is just for stay at home moms in reality. It's not, it's an opportunity to bring full time working moms that want to be home. Okay. So there's lots of moms out there that, um, or even not moms that love their job and that's what they want. Um, but there are also other moms and other women who don't want that and they want to be home more. And this opportunity is perfect for that. That is what it's set up for. And Jamie's like living and breathing proof that it's possible. I mean, working 70 plus hours a week and doing this, like that just blows my mind. She's, she's amazing. And it's, it's just proof right there. If you want something bad enough and she has this attitude, like no excuse attitude. She's a red personality in my opinion. And she, like, she'll tell me, she's like, uh, if you want it, you just, like, go and do it. Like, there's no excuses. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're so right. Like, I even had her do a training for our team page. Just her attitude and everything is just, like, no excuses. And if you want something bad enough in life, I call it um, your why should make you cry. And I believe if your why is strong enough, um, like Jamie's is her daughter and wanting to be home more with her husband and her daughter and just her family, that's a really strong why. So she's not going to let anybody or anything in her way. So I did want to ask you, was your, um, was your husband supportive in the beginning? Did he even know what the heck was going on? Well, my husband, you'll have to – 
I think you might know him. I think he graduated with you. Um, really? I think so. I think so. Um, he's like super supportive. First off, he just he does whatever I want to do. He builds the show car set. He dances with the kids. I said, so I want to sell makeup, and he was like, what? and I said, he said, listen, if you want to do it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, he's over I the love top. That he does whatever the first when I first got my kid I did a live of him washing I did a facial on him oh uh, I missed that one I deleted it because he said something not a oh. <laughs> I have the stuff on my page it's not okay gosh that's actually hilarious you're like making my eyes water <laughs> okay. so I did that so that's he did awesome. A joke, so I deleted him. <laughs> yeah. See, I think that's awesome because a lot of um, times your family and a lot of times like your husbands are like, they're like, uh, that's like some kind of scheme. Like they're not on board at all. So a lot of my like women, I'm like, you're just going to have to prove it to them then. And that's what they do. But you having somebody supportive from the get go is huge um it really is huge i remember you saying that you're like oh he said something you were doing lives and like he used up all the data yeah yeah so i he's a paramedic and i always yell at him for using too much data and i and say now like, you're like doing lives all the time <laughs> he's like we use all our data this month and i'm like sorry sorry i got him i got it i gotta go to the top so <laughs> yeah sorry so we don't, we actually like use my mom's internet. She's our neighbor and we like steal from her. We steal her internet. He knows about it. Okay. I'm not like thieving from her, but he bought our own internet because I keep using all. Yes. yes. That's yeah. how amazing she is. Like she, I'm not saying like she joined and you know, we're going to see how this goes. Like she joined and took off with it. So if this is something that's really important to you and you want to make this like a real legitimate business, then it's so doable. Jamie came from, you've never been with a direct sales company, correct? I sold paparazzi for like two days. You know, that $5 jewelry. And that was like when I was 20. And so no, no. I'm saying I didn't do it very long. Then there's nothing wrong with pap paparazzi, okay? <laughs> Jamie just cracked me up. <laughs> you said for two days. Yeah, I okay. Like <laughs> Jamie has no sales experience whatsoever besides two days with paparazzi. <laughs> and she literally had like three, two or three products of makeup, like before she, before she joined a professional makeup company. So I was like, I'm going to work here on my cheap mascara in the car. And then, okay, done. And look how good your makeup looks. Like, you're, like, glowing. Seriously. Mom, so my mom said these were hooker lips. Do you, you think I like true? it. No, that's your color for sure. And your skin's, like, glowing. I love it. I love it. Um, And I'm just pumped for you. Like, okay, she's hit. How many paychecks have you had with Limelight so far? Two? Yeah. Okay. Two. Two paychecks with Limelight so far has hit both of her fast starts. Um, how much free product have you earned? You are in, oh, so you yep. have earned three hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, three hundred right. dollars. Oh right. Gosh. So she's already earned three hundred dollars in free makeup or skincare, whatever she wants. That's not counting her pay. That's just on top of it. So, and she works. Let me just uh, say this again. She works seventy plus hours a week. That is like crazy to me we we don't we have stay-at-home moms on the team but we have um so many nurses on our team um jamie's bringing in the teachers we um we have clinical pharmacists on our team we have professional people um on our team so this is not you know well uh, i should say a plan b for people like something work doesn't work out for them so they're gonna go to this I tell people all the time, listen, this needs to be your plan A. Um, I have a full college degree, and there's no way that I could go and 
work in a vet clinic with my college degree and make anywhere close to what I'm making now. And just the things I've been able to do with my family, like, and memories we've been able to create and the, just the time, like Jamie being on strike for nine days would leave a lot of moms frazzled. Like, Oh my gosh, my kids are off school. What am I going to do? I have to go to work, but I could be home with them every single day. So that is what I'm talking about is time freedom. And that's what Jamie is work. That's what we are working her towards is time freedom and her not waking up to an alarm clock. Cause that would be amazing. <laughs> Is yeah, there anything mom, else? Go ahead. You know. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to add? Um, no, not really. Um, I just signed my first person. Well, really, my second person under me. Second, I'm sorry. Um, she's watching Lauren. She's a teacher at my school. We said we're gonna take over. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> oh, Lauren's a teacher too. Teacher club, yay! <laughs> yeah, Lauren. So we're going to just take over Poca Glam well, Squad. I want, seriously, uh, teachers should take over. I mean, they uh, look what they just did for the state of West Virginia. I can't imagine what they could do with Mom Light. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, so, oh, I did want to ask you, are you surprised, like, how well that you are doing with Mom Light? Or did you already know, like, in your head, you're like, I'm, I'm going to do well? Um, I mean, I decided I was going to do well. I guess I'm surprised how much money I made last month. Um, we, I like joke and joke and said, I finally got the state to give me a 5% raise, but Limelight gave me like a 25% one last month. So, um, so, you know, I guess that's super awesome. Uh, I just think you have to set your mind to it. And if you decide you're going to do it, you can. So, I mean, I'm. Not a makeup girl at all, just like Ashley said. I'm a farm girl. We own horses. Makeup is not, but I just, I'm much better about myself. I've made awesome friends. My skin feels better. That's how Lauren came up to me at lunch and said, I need to figure out what kind of products you use on your face because I want my skin to look like this. And I'm so, telling you, your skin's like glowing. Seriously. So Jade, my sister, has a newborn, and I my forehead is like as soft as that baby's. I'm just telling you. Oh my! Forehead. <laughs> you want to touch it? I've said that to people. I wish. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, I seriously love you. Like you're hilarious. <laughs> um, I know, and I, I feel like um, it could bring you out of a rut. You know what I mean? Like when you kind of uh -huh. you just. You're, like, in a rut, like, you're just, like, down and depressed, and you're, like, just going through the motions of life. I feel like this business, like, it, I don't know what it is. It just, like, breathes life, like, back into you, and you have this, like, fire inside of you again. So, the money is amazing. Like, like you said, your paycheck last month was amazing, but just that feeling inside that you get, too, and so many people that you meet, I mean... I know you've made a lot more friends, too. I mean, that in itself is half the reason um, that I talk about this company all the time. I mean, I made a in Limelight, but then also, like, just trying to expand my network, which Tyler said, you're making friends just to sell Limelight. But that's not really true because I've met so many cool people. I've met several girls who I check up on every day. Somebody I'm doing a beach body challenge with right now. It's, like, so many cool people. So I know. That, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, because they, I meet new people and then they become customers and over half of them usually end up joining my team. So then I'm left with no customers. So then I have to go buy, find new customers again <laughs> and then they yeah. just join me. Um, but I have met so many people. I would say 90% of my customers I've never even met before. They're in different states, but they've been with me for two years and we talk all the time, so I feel like I know all these people, and we've never even met before, so it's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I say to Tyler, oh, my friend, he says who, and I say, oh, you don't, I've never met her. She's on Facebook. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, my best friend. She's like, oh, he's like, what? You're like, oh, I've never met her, but. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Jamie, for doing this vlog with me. Um, I really feel like uh, a lot of people will connect with you and connect with your situation.
and circumstances and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in with us. Um, sorry, I've not read one comment because I can't do this dual live and like multitask and stuff. Hey, Katie, I just now saw that you said hi like a long time ago. So thank you all so much um, for joining us. I've got to go pick up my kids. I don't even know what time it is. They're probably sitting outside the church. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, we are signing off. Bye.